guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's such a big uh, franchise already, and I can imagine for you guys coming into it, it's kind of daunting in some respects, but also because of the nature of the the book and how it's kind of about people and the scope is just kind of around it. Did that kind of take the pressure off a little bit that it was such an interesting story and had so many interesting characters in between all of the the grand scale of it? Yeah, I think the beauty of this book is that it is a standalone book that Suzanne Collins has written. So the source material itself is already it's already a fresh take on the world. It doesn't feel like it's recreating or trying to like recreate the greatness of the original franchise. It, I think it's um it's a, it all begins and ends with the question that Suzanne wants to ask, which in this case was like what is evil? Is it nature? Is it nurture? Like, where does it come from within humanity? Um, and power dynamics, you know, she writes about big, big questions. So I think it's easy to believe in, in the questions and in the book um, as, as its own thing. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's always a bit daunting to like step into something that people have an expectation of already. But I think Francis Lawrence, the director, kind of gave us all permission to, yeah. to treat this with, a, with fresh, fresh eyes. Yeah. yeah, and there's a wonderful relationship between your two two characters. Talk to me about working together, bringing that to life. Because it feels more than just friendship. It feels like a, a brotherhood almost. Like they are almost like brothers in, in some respect. Yeah, and you, you, you can, uh, I mean, weigh in if I'm, if I'm wrong about this. But to me, it felt a lot like uh, in their own ways, Corio and Sejanus were both outsiders. Mm -hmm. And I think Sejanus was able to sense that... Um, you know, as much as Corio tried to hide it, I think Sejanus could sense that they both had this kind of uh, similarity. And um, <clears throat> I think that because of that, uh, because Sejanus didn't trust anyone necessarily in the capital, it, it meant a lot to him to have, you know, even somebody who was a little bit kind, um, you know, and somebody who it, it felt like he, he was cared about. Um, I think that really, really, really meant a lot for him. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're his better. You're like Corio's better angel, right? Like, uh, like the good angel. Yeah, think? like yeah. if he's got angels on his shoulders, you're you're like you and Tigress are definitely his his better angels. Yeah, and always trying to like do the right thing, and and I think that makes it even more heartbreaking when Corio doesn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You've got this fantastic young ensemble, but also you've got these wonderful kind of seasoned actors. What was the best piece of advice that any of those seasoned actors you got to work with gave you while you were working with them? Yeah, I mean, I had such an expectation that Viola was going to be really serious and really intense just because she's like got this reputation for being like the best to ever act, you know? Um, and she got on set and she was so relaxed and just like in her own lane, using her like process to, 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 to make it easy. Um, like she wasn't doing anything to try and make the job more difficult than it had to be and I really respected that and she also like she'll do the scene you'll be mesmerized and then she'll pop out and she's just Viola like being you know gracious with you um, so I was I admired that a lot because I just thought oh it doesn't have to be difficult you know it, yeah. it should be fun um, and I think something that really stuck out was Peter Dinklage took me aside one day and said like you know there's going to be a lot of noise around this because it's a big franchise it's like none of it matters. What matters is like the storytelling and, and the acting, and, and uh, that's the most important part. Yeah. yeah. Was there much for you? I, I would say for me, predominantly, uh, a lot of these people led by example. Mm -hmm. um, particularly Peter. You know, I had a I had a few days on set with him where he had a big monologue that he was doing for everybody in the Capitol, all the students at the academy. And uh, it was it was such a long piece of text, like in the script, you know. And something that I really admire, just about actors in general, is like sense of play, mm. um, you know, being able to add different colors and intonations to to affect the subtext. And he was a master at yeah. that. Every take, yeah. he would do something just slightly different that, as a whole, kind of really embellished, you know, the text he was speaking. It was it was like a whole masterclass to be able to watch that day. Yeah. Yeah. Did he did he sing at all for you? Because what did you make to his performance in did Cyrano? He, did he sing? Because obviously in Cyrano, he sing because you, you know, no, you've got your West Side Story. Not, not in this one musical, that I saw. Not in this one. Yeah. But he's good. He's good at Cyrano. Yeah, yeah, it would have been it. nice if he uh, gave uh, us uh, a little uh, bit. Uh, and just finally, I mean, this is such a huge franchise. Have you become kind of friends for life now? Because you, you kind of get, you know, in these big movies and everything else, but... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I forgot about family. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just a little side thing. Tom would always do this thing that just frustrated the crap out of me. Where I would come up for this and, and then I'd give him one of those. And then when I would come up for this, I'd give him one of those. 
right. you know, keeping it playful. Yeah, Whatever. Like he gives me one thing and I'm giving him a surprise. Yeah. I think yeah. it's uh, keep me on my keep toes. Keep on your toes in the morning. <laughs> Josh isn't a morning person, so no. uh, I don't know so if you can tell by my face right him now. Are but... oh, you doing great? Uh, yeah, anything I can to throw him a curveball, I'll do it. Uh, I think that answers your question. Yeah, we yeah, were, yeah. we like when you go through something like this, it's such a big kind of um, I don't know, it's a big undertaking. Yeah. And I think you can't help but just become like comrades yeah. in arms a little bit. Um, I think we all have, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would say right, so. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Maybe you get to do it again one day. Yeah. Who knows? Hope so. Who knows? Guys, okay. congrats on the movie. Thank good you luck. So well, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Pleasure. Mate. Have a good Happy day. You. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!